In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing a decimal by a decimal. When dividing by a decimal, we're going to cheat, not really divide by a decimal, but instead we're going to divide by a whole number. To do that, we must move the decimal in the divisor so that we are actually dividing by a whole number. The trick is, as we do this, as we move the decimal in the divisor, we must also move the decimal on the dividend, or on the inside number, the same number of times. So for example, if we were dividing 14.35 by 3.5, we start with the 3.5 in front and the 14.35 inside, Right now, we're dividing by 3.5. There's a decimal in there. We can't have a decimal in the divisor. So what we're going to do is move that decimal out of the way, in this case, moving it one decimal place over to the right. To stay balanced, we're going to make that same move inside with the dividend, moving it over one to the right as well in there. And now we're dividing by the whole number, 35. Now the division can work like always. 35 goes into 143 four times, because 4 times 35 is 140. Subtracting then, we end up with 3. Bring down the next digit, or the 5. 35 goes into 35 once, again making sure we line up the answer right above the number we're dividing into. 1 times 35 is 35, and when we subtract, we get 0. Now to place the decimal in our final answer, we move it straight up from its new location into our answer, and we end up with 4.1 for our final solution, 4 and 1 tenth. We move the decimal on both numbers so that we're dividing by a whole number. Let's take a look at one more example. In this problem, again, we'll set up our long division with the second number going out front, 1.55, and then the 12.09 inside as the dividend. Again, out front, the divisor is not a whole number, so we need to move that decimal point one, two times to get it all the way out of the way. We're going to do the same thing with the dividend. Grab that decimal and move it two times out of the way. Now we can do our division. Now we can divide the 155 into 1,209. With a little guess and check, we'll find that that goes in there seven times. How about I do that actually in a different color here? Seven times. 7 times 5 is 35. Again, we're lining up decimal digits. 7 times 5 is 35, and 3 more is 38. And 7 times 1 is 7, and 3 more is 10. And we'll subtract 1085 then. 9 minus 5 is 4. Borrowing 10 minus 8 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then we'll move down the next digit. Well, the nice part about decimals is there's always a 0 coming up, so we can add a 0 onto the end so that we can keep dividing. 155 into 1,240. It's going to go in there 8 times. Again, you might need a little guess and check. Get these out of the way. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 5 is 40, and 4 more. 8 times 1 is 8. Oops, I'm sorry. 8 times 5 is 40 and 4 more. We already did that. Why am I off here? Oh, I forgot the 0 to hold my... 8 times 5 is 40, so we need a 0. 8 times the second 5 is 40 and 4 more. I was okay. Carry the 4, and 8 times 1 is 8, and 4 more is 12. Subtract, and we get 0. And finally, we can place the decimal by moving it straight up into our answer. Move the decimal so that we're dividing by a whole number. 